Today we are carrying on with the Rugs to Riches series in GTA Online, where if you don't know what the aim of it is, it's to start off with whatever money the game gives us and aim to end the series off with having at least $10 million in the bank, which we can then afford to buy the $10 million golden private jet. So then let's get straight on into it with today's video. Alright, so since the last time we did a heist in GTA, which was around two months ago, I think, and that was the Crooked Mill Farm Raid, since then, um, that does mean that we've been doing the Rags to Riches series for quite a long time now, and we need to start actually wrapping things up a bit. So, considering we've only done one heist, today we're going to try and do the Fleeker Bank, and as we have around $300,000, that shouldn't be an issue, as all we need to do is head on to the internet and then buy an high-end apartment, I believe it is. So, if we go on to Dynasty 8, and then I think one of the cheapest... One is around 200,000, which we have more than enough for that. So let's just go ahead and t scroll down until we can find the uh, cheapest high-end apartment. Okay, yep, here it is, uh, Del Puro Heights. And I'm not sure what the difference between both of them are. Um, it's only a $5,000 difference as well, though. But uh, I think we'll just go with the $5,000 more expensive one, which is 205,000 just in case there is anything we're missing but anyway let's go ahead and purchase this now and we have to trade in a property but um we'll do the empty one for now and right then now that we do have that let's go ahead and set a route over to our new apartment and then we can go from there and where is it actually can't see it on the map oh never mind i found it it's uh, right next to our office which is also pretty interesting as well so then let's go ahead and head on over to our to our new apartment so i'll see you once we are over there and all right here we are at our new apartment it's a pretty good location as well considering we have our office right next to us as well which is brilliant and it is also a 10 car garage as well which is pretty good for if we end up buying more vehicles in the future but anyway let's go ahead and enter the apartment like so and i'm not really sh too sure what we do have to do uh, in order to be able to do the heist so all i do know is that you need to own a high-end apartment in order to do it so uh, i guess it, we'll find out as soon as we can as uh, soon as quickly as we can as well so then if i'm right the planning room is in here so yeah that's that's good so i think we just quickly join the heist as a crew member or not never mind we need to go over to leicester uh, next up which i probably should have thought if that was on the map how do i cancel it um has that done it yes it has so then now we need to hit, go over to leicester i think i'm doing this right so um yeah like i said no clue what i'm meant to be doing here but anyway uh yeah let, here's our new apartment anyway i might as well give you a bit of a just a quick tour why not so yeah we got like a living room here the kitchen and stuff um and taking the bedrooms will be downstairs anyway and for that let's go ahead and exit it like so and then head on over to leicester's factory and hopefully then we can start setting up the fika bank hopefully so then uh, let's go ahead and set a route over to leicester real quick like so and then of course get into the car and then head on over there And right then, now that we are at Leicester's factory, let's just go ahead and get in here then and do whatever we need to do. Um, but all I know is that we need to get this Fika Bank job uh, done. And yep, uh, there's Leicester himself. So yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and skip through this with the power of editing and then I will see you as soon as we have gone through this cutscene. Okay, right then, now that we've gone through this cutscene, I'm pretty sure what we just need to do is wait for, Le for Lester to contact us, and then we can then start doing uh, heist soon. So I guess we'll just wait out and then wait for him to call us, and then I'll see you as soon as whenever that is. A few moments later. Okay, here's Lester calling us now, so it does mean that there is a heist available for us. So then let's go ahead and set a route over to our apartment and then we can start doing the first heist, which is uh, brilliant. And I have just realised that is the wrong building we've gone to. We've gone into our office instead of our apartment. Anyway, uh, let's actually go over to our apartment this time. Okay, here we are at the right building this time, which is good. So then here we are in the heist planning room. 
And, uh, yep, let's just go ahead and walk up to the board here. And, yeah, is anything going to happen? Um, okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, start the heist as a leader. Okay, yep. So that's what we're going to have to do. And then we'll have to do the setup missions and then do the finale after, which is going to be pretty good. All right, so the first setup mission, what we've got to do is a scope out mission where we head on over to the bank and then, of course, scope out the bank, uh, like, like it said. So then let's go ahead and head on over to the bank uh, in Lester's car and then we'll start scoping it out from there. All right, here we are at the bank and now we've just got to pretty much take a look at it and then, yeah, uh, go from there, I guess. And of course, here's inside the vault what we're going to be robbing as well. And then, yeah, uh, that pretty much sums up the first bit of uh, the heist. Okay, right then, now that we've scoped out the bank, now we've got to take Lester over to its factory, where I think we might need to go ahead and set and take some equipment, but I'm not exactly too sure yet, so I guess I'll find out once we are over there. Alright, now that we are at it, it's factory, now we've just got to leave the car here and jump into into Paige's car like so, and uh, we've just got to wait for uh, that person to finish up doing the hack thingy, whatever he has to do. <laughs> Alright, now we've just got to take the Granger over to the garage where I take it, the car will be stored until we do the heist itself. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Alright, after a very long time of waiting, uh, we are finally back at this stage where we've got the car at the garage, which is pretty good. So then, now that it's going in there, I believe that's, yep, that's the first setup mission done. I'm not sure how much more there is to do. It might just be that one, or I think we have one more after. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight on to the next one then. Alright, so for the next setup mission, which is also the final one, we have got to steal the armoured Kurama. So that's fairly straightforward. All we gotta do is head on over to where it is located steal it and then take it over to either this garage or Lester's factory which is pretty straightforward and how lucky is that it is literally just across the road from us so that is brilliant as well so we should be able to get this done as quickly as possible as well so then let's just go ahead and enter this garage wherever yeah it is right here um wherever the entrance was and it should be on the top floor i'm pretty sure of as well which is going to be pretty good as well so not too bad either so then let's go and get up to the top of the parking lot real quick and okay right then now that we are up here um and the car i believe is right yep over there let's go ahead and deal with all of these people first of all And right there, that, that's the final person. So then, let's go ahead and jump into the crew now. And now we just got to take it over to Lester's factory. And is there any way off of this van, this uh, parking lot up here? Uh, oh, that's sad, there isn't. Uh, so then, now then, let's just go ahead and get out of this parking lot. Uh, try not to crash or damage your car either. Just like Lester said then. And yeah, um, should be pretty easy this one. So if I can not crash. No! Why? Two hours later. And just like that, we are now at Leicester's factory with the Kuruma delivered right next to it, which is brilliant. So that does mean that that is this setup mission done. So we can now, of course, actually go ahead and do the heist itself. All right, now that we are in our apartment, let's go ahead and start the heist finale. So. So considering this is basically the easiest type in the game, we shouldn't really have an issue with it. We should get this done first try. So then let's go ahead and get through this cutscene real quick and then we can start and to head on over to the bank. 
Right then, first of all, let's go ahead and head on over to Lester's factory where we can, of course, go ahead and jump into the Kuruma and then we can head on over to the bank. So then, let's go ahead and go over to the factory real quick. And now to, of course, get into the Kuruma and head on over to the bank. But before we do that, we've got to go ahead and complete this hack real quick so hopefully we can get this done as quickly as possible and not waste any time so then uh, let's go ahead and complete these and that's one done that's two done and finally that's three done so then um now that we've done that let let's do this thing and then that is now the vault open like so so now we can just go ahead and put on a mask and then go into the vault and then take whatever's in there so then now to go into the safety, now to find the safety deposit box, which is right over here. Now we've just got to drill into it and then we can take whatever's in there. Okay, right then, there we go. That's now the drilling done. Now we just got to take the safe like so. And then, of course, now make a run for it and then get back into the Kuruma. And now we've just got to go ahead and escape the police and take it over to the pickup point. And, of course, the, the iconic pick up uh, point as well so now we've just gotta hopefully let this work so uh, maybe slow down a bit uh, would help oh no okay there we go there we go we have now <laughs> actually got under the cargo bob and now we have escaped and completed the fleecer bank job which is brilliant so now we can actually go ahead and get the money f that we have earned from the heist and there we go, there is the heist past as well, which is brilliant. And we have also made a total of $120,000, which is pretty good, especially for uh, doing this heist. And for the first time bonus, we got an extra $100,000. So we have earned $220,000 off of this heist, which is amazing. But that basically does sum up today's video. We completed the Fleeker Bank job in GTA, which is pretty good. So then that does also mean, though, that it is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you all did enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more better content. And other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Please.